Peggy 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the Cat Mario Show. Meow. Yeah. Yeah. We're back with another thrilling episode packed full of games, news, and tips. What have you been getting up to since last time, Cat Mario? I've been researching our next section, which is all about a classic gaming icon. Let's go. Super, Super Smash, Smash Brothers, Brothers Secrets. Secrets. Today we'll tell you about that hungry yellow guy from years gone by, Pac-Man. He was famous even before Mario came along. The first move we'll be looking at is his standard special move, Bonus Fruit. You can throw different types of fruit depending on how long you hold down the B button. Some fly straight, some fly off in funny directions, and some even deliver electric shocks. That's right. You can change your attacks by using different types of fruit. Where does he even get them from? <clears throat> Next up, we have Pac-Man's side special move, Power Pellet. He throws a power pellet, follows it, and eats it. See how he turns into the classic Pac-Man? You can change the direction of the power pellet so you can pull off snazzy moves like this. Look at him go! Pac-Man's up special move is Pack Jump. A trampoline appears under him and you jump on it. You can jump three times and you go higher each time. Combine Power Pellet and Pack Jump to get back onto the stage if you're knocked off. It's an awesome way to recover. Last but not least, this is his down special move, Fire Hydrant. You can place a Fire Hydrant to blast water at your opponent. This should keep him from coming back, but that's not all. You can also use Fire Hydrant as a weapon by dropping it on top of an opponent or launching it straight at them. Pac-Man can be a serious contender if used well. That's all about Pac-Man today. We hope you've managed to learn a thing or two about him. Onwards! Pokemon, Pokemon training. training! Welcome to this brand new section where we'll tell you all about fascinating creatures called Pokemon. It's a great chance to learn loads about Pokemon and who knows, maybe you could become the best Pokemon trainer like no one ever was! As this is the first time ever, let's start with the real basics. What are Pokemon? me and I'll teach you. Pokemon are creatures of all shapes and sizes, and they live in all sorts of places in the Pokemon world. Some prefer to live in tall grass, some high in the sky, and some only live in hot places like volcanoes. You'll find them all over the place. As a Pokemon trainer, you can catch wild Pokemon in special devices called Pokeballs. There are over 700 different known Pokemon to collect, of all different shapes and sizes. And there are lots of different Pokemon types too. Some Pokemon are fire type like Fennekin. Then you have grass type, water type and others. 18 different types have been discovered so far. This one's a grass type Pokemon called Chespin. And this one's a water type Pokemon called Froakie. So you guys must be wondering what the Pokemon types mean, right? Well, your job as a Pokemon trainer is to collect, train and battle Pokemon against other Pokemon. Learning about the types of Pokemon and their different moves will help you in battle. It's exciting stuff. In battles, Pokemon can use a range of moves and each turn you tell your Pokemon which move to use. By battling, your Pokemon could grow stronger. Say you have a Fennekin, which is a fire type with fire moves. What type of Pokemon do you think would be really strong against it? Oh, I know, I know. Use water on fire, a water type. For sure! A water-type Pokémon would be super effective against a fire-type Pokémon, but the water-type Pokémon wouldn't be very effective against a grass-type Pokémon. It might seem confusing at the start, but once you get the hang of it, you're sure to have tons of fun catching and training Pokémon. I'd like to have a team of lots of different types, so I'm ready for anything! Gotta catch them all! Hey Cat Peach, you're my best friend in a world we must defend. 
Maybe we could trade some Pokemon too. Sure, that sounds great. I'll trade my Froakie for your Fennekin. Nice deal. Next episode, we'll teach you some more about Pokemon. And we'll even have a quiz. Right, our next section is all about something wonderfully woolly. Today, we'll be playing with our friend Yoshi and looking at Yoshi's woolly world and Wii U. We've got some tips that'll help you become experts in this game really fast. Let's get right to it. Check out this naughty fella. He's called a hook guy because of the crochet hook he's carrying. He'll try to poke you with it, so be careful. The hook can do some damage and also stops Yoshi from lobbing yarn balls at him straight on. Not to worry though, Yoshi can do something that'll sort it right out. To get past these tricksters, jump up above them and use a ground pound to land on their heads. That way, they can't get you with a hook. But sometimes, they point the hook upwards and... Be careful! If you're quick while the hook's up, you can hurl yarn balls at them from the front! Nice! When you see a hook guy, choose your attacks wisely. So true! But did you know that you can play Yoshi's Woolly World with a friend? You can play as Yoshi's and work through the levels together. That's double the cute factor. Not only that, but having a friend there means you can do some really cool tricks. There are loads of fun hidden things to collect in every level. And some of them are quite hard to reach. If you see something like a smiley flower or wonder wall in a tricky area, work with your pal to reach it. You can swallow your friend up and spit them out to reach high ledges or items. Teamwork wins once more! Plus, it's handy when taking on big bosses. If you run out of yarn balls, you can turn your friend into a yarn ball instead. Don't knock it till you've tried it! It really works! Our final tip today is all about Yoshi's flutter jump. Did you know that if you jump and hold down the jump button, Yoshi can flutter to stay in the air for a bit? This is super useful for getting across gaps. And if the gaps are too big, then you can do it again on the same jump. If you hold down the jump button to flutter in the air, just as you start to fall, you can press and hold the jump button again to do another flutter jump. This is a top technique for getting through tricky levels with loads of big gaps. We hope these tips will help you save all the Yoshis from Cheeky Kamek. Right, on we go to the next bit. Mario Expert. In this section, we tell you all kinds of useful info that will help you become the absolute the bomb at Mario games. Today, it's all about a Nintendo 64 game available on Virtual Console on Wii U. It's a timeless classic, Super Mario 64. This was Mario's first 3D adventure, which put him on a quest to collect power stars and defeat that big buddy Bowser. Mario runs, jumps, flips, and even surfs on shells. He looks so happy! Yahoo! But did you guys know that in some levels, there are secret warp points? They're a bit like warp pipes, sort of. Yes, but these hidden warp points bring you from one part of a level to another. The first two you can find are found on my favourite, bob -bom Battlefield! For the first, run across the path at the start of the level and up the wooden bridge. Hop over the fence and stand in the middle of this area here. Voila! Nice! The second spot is along the cliff edge of the mountain at the far end of the level. Once you reach this little cave, hop in and stand still near the back wall. It'll take you all the way up near the top. Our next warp point is in Womp's Fortress. If you stand in the corner near the box there, boom! You get warped to the top of the level. Now for the coolest warp of all, found on Cool Cool Mountain! If you stand near the edge of the broken bridge at the top of the mountain, you can warp all the way down to the bottom. These little tricks are really helpful, Cat Mario. But I've heard that there are even more secret warp locations in Super Mario 64. It's true. I hope you kids at home can find them all. Even better, if you collect 100 coins on any level, a power star will appear. It's good to know if you plan to collect all of the power stars. There are loads to collect. Well, you know what they say. A power star a day keeps the doctor away. Or is it Bowser? Oh, I forget. Bowser's not the only buddy to stay clear of, though. In Super Mario 64, those womps can be a real pain. They'll try to squish you if you get too close. 
Don't worry, there's a sneaky way to defeat them. All you have to do is wait till they try to jump on you and run out of the way. When they land, do a ground pound on the little X on their backs. X marks the spot. For sure. And what about these bullies? They're always trying to push Mario around. It's okay, Mario's the brave heroic type. To defeat these guys, use an attack to push them off the edge of the platform. Go, Mario! Well, we'll catch up on more Mario titles soon, along with loads of other fun games. But for now, bye! bye.